Hello everyone. I'm sure many of you have seen the recent video by Tycon um, showcasing Test 137 E2 Nice, uh, super fast and easy to build elevator, uh, vertical elevator design. Um, now this is my sort of a developed version uh, based on that original prototype. Now let me just quickly show the, um, the original design. Right. Um, this is the original prototype as shown in Taikan's video. Um, as you can see the wiring is extremely sim simple, it's really easy to build. Um, it just um, the, the basically the signal just um, spirals upwards um, just like that and um, it's really self-explanatory, it's really really easy to build. And it's really really fast you walk bit, um, towards these two um, pressure plates and it will send you up just like that. Um, the problem with the, this, this prototype is that it doesn't have any sort of user-friendly feature. Obviously, I mean, when you're up, up here, I actually had to walk towards um, these fence posts and, and pressure plate. If I didn't walk um, uh, forward, I would have fallen down. Um, it's not very safe in that regard. Um, and also that you have to stand fairly, you know, square in the center. If you stand sort of to the side and you go go forward, it's just going to get stuck. Yeah. So um, um, and also th that you have to enter the elevator from the side, which just looks horrible. So uh, we are back to my user-friendly version. So basically the design, the mid section is exactly the same as the prototype, it's just the top end is different, the bottom uh, bit is different. So the first thing you'll probably notice is that you can actually walk in from the front, um, you don't have to walk in from the side, um, this way you, are, you will be able to um, build it quite nicely, you can you know, decorate it and make it look quite nice. Next thing you will probably see is that there's these things, that the gate and the, the the, the iron uh, grid in the back. So these basically these are your guide rails so that they prevent you from stepping you know uh, too much to the side and so you end up getting uh, you know ejected in the mid-air. Um, so this will ensure you, you you are in the right position and when you're ready uh, if you press a button uh, the guide rail is going to retract into the wall the bottom uh, piston is going to piston is going to send you up, and you you go up as normal. So we'll, we'll ride up and we'll have a look. Now, as you can see, um, there's no hole for me to fall back down. Uh, it's just a flush wall. Uh, there's no any danger for me to fall back down. And you, if it's just part of your building, you can walk past, and it's not a you know, big, you know, gaping hole, looking ugly. It's just nice, almost nothing there. Um, there are six pistons behind the wall, and um, they will just retract for a split second um, when you are moving up the elevator, just in time for you to pop through, and then it will push you onto the safe ground, so you won't need to worry about falling back down. Now the design is actually very very simple. The wiring is actually very simple. Um, all these sort of looks like a bit of wiring that that's just splitting signal. That's really very straightforward. Uh, it's just a um, a straight connection into a, a signal um, shortener, a mono stable circuit, um, and that goes straight to the pistons. You don't even need to invert it normally like you normally do in the end. Um, you know, let's go down and have a look. So we'll go down by my um, quick drop. Now the reason I use the gate and the button um, that way is to ensure that I'll drop in the right place. Um, I did hurt myself quite a few times <laughs> hitting the side. So uh, for the launch pad, um, the wiring is really simple as well. Really it's mostly just splitting signals with all these redstone. It's really just splitting signals. Um, a couple of repeaters for delay. A signal lengthener here. Um, a bit of a signal um, 
inverter signal involved. Um, yeah, it, it's really, really easy. Um, just with that flyby, anyone who is uh, reasonably familiar with um, Riston should be able to easily replicate. I will include this test world for download um, in the description, and I will also include a link to Tycon and Test 1372 Nice video uh, for you to watch. Um, Please do ask any questions, stay any comments in the comment section. Uh, and thank you everyone for watching. Bye.